Hi, this is Dina with Left Lane Finds, and welcome back to my channel. I'm doing this little series of what I'm calling my reseller vlogs, and I talk about eBay, Etsy, and Poshmark, and today's topic is going to be on Etsy. So I have a small Etsy shop. I thought I was doing really good on that. You know, when you're a part-time uh, reseller, your perspective on things is very different, say, from some of the much, much bigger people. <laughs> and I had no idea how many items people have in their shops. And I, you know, built mine up from zero up to where I try to keep an average of around 50 items. Uh, that was last year's goal to get it up there and get it up there and keep it at that. So as I sell things, I add more things in. And then for this year, I wanted to get it up to where I'm keeping an average of about 70 items. Right now, I'm just in the mid to high 50s on that. Um, so what I've been doing with my Etsy shop in terms of... Um, uh, building that up is that I have a ton of items that I had listed on eBay and never cross posted them to my Etsy shop so I've been slowly pulling those items out and adding them uh, to my shop because that's kind of easy <laughs> I kind of know what the items are and uh, what prices and and it just kind of goes a little quicker and so that's one thing I've been doing um, of course I'm always outsourcing and as you know, I recently went sourcing, but I only found one item to resell, and it was a pair of flip-flops, so that is not going to my Etsy shop. <laughs> uh, anyways, so the other thing I do in my Etsy shop as a strategy is I run sales. And I've been running my sales at the 15% um, off uh, range in terms of the sales. I've been doing that consistently. I at least like once a month. Uh, sometimes I either do the first half of the month or the second half of the month, but at least once a month I'm running uh, my sales. And then I also have, um, I'm not sure what you would call them. They're almost like coupons or coupon codes that if somebody favorites an item, they automatically get an email. If their email is set up in Etsy, people can shop and do things on Etsy without actually signing up for the app or if they're doing it on their laptop, you don't have to sign up in order to buy something uh, from there. Uh, but if they have their email, um, their real email and not a spam email in there, <laughs> uh, they will get a code from me that gives them 15% off of any item. So I've, I've been running that since I started my shop. And actually I just looked, I started it in June of 2019. And uh, so at the moment, I think total since then, since I started it, I think it said I had over 70 sales. And I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> now, I'm in a lot of groups like TikTok and Instagram groups and, of course, YouTubers who are resellers. And so there was an Instagrammer who... Uh, she was just selling so much vintage and she has two Etsy shops. She has one for vintage toys and one for just vintage everything else. Um, and so I asked her because she just had so many sales, like daily sales. She had so much going on. I said, how many items do you keep in your shop? And she's like, over 500. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's when you realize how part-time you are because they consider themselves part-time because she has a full-time job uh, helping to run estate sales and that's how she sources her items is whatever doesn't sell at the estate sale she's allowed to buy things um, from the company that she works for so it's an easy way for her to to get uh, inventory and I'm like wow 500 I'm like that's lofty <laughs> at least that's very lofty for me um, then I was on a chat with another pair of uh of ladies who uh, run Etsy shops and so I asked them in the, the live chat they were having this live chat I said oh out of curiosity how many do you items do you keep in your Etsy shop and they said 2,000 I'm like 2,000 items <laughs> oh my lord but maybe they only sell on Etsy I'm not sure but 
I was like, wow, like, that's a lot. That's kind of on the, what I would consider full-time. A lot of times people, they always say it's part-time because it doesn't pay for all of their bills based on, say, their lifestyle. It all comes down to that, right? You know, it depends on how much your, you know, rent or mortgages or your car payment and all your other bills, you know, that kind of determines whether or not you consider your reselling income is part-time or, or full-time. I will always be part-time. got that question the other day. Would I ever consider going full-time? And I'm like, I don't have any desire to do that. I, um, as you guys know, I also, you know, trade stocks and I make, I make more money on that side, a lot more money than I do with the reselling. And I kind of, you know, like that I can switch on and off between those two things like I can concentrate on one for a while and one for the other you know another time I'll do like I'll concentrate more on the reselling or concentrate more on the stocks it just depends on what's going on and my husband and I are planning to do you know a lot more traveling and in fact I have a ski trip coming up soon so um that's the other reason why I don't want to get into this full time I'm doing this by myself um, and I don't want to be like hiring employees or, or any of that at the, at the moment. Uh, so, uh, all the advice I'm giving you guys is it's kind of like a, a little window into what it's like to be a part-timer, but at the same time, everything I'm telling you is scalable that you can scale it to be full-time. I always suggest that people don't wait to you like say don't have a job to start doing something or maybe that would be motivating but instead learn how to do something like reselling part-time way before you would want to take it on full-time you also want to bank a lot of money so that you have enough money to you know say live off of until you have enough scale on your reselling business um it, it, it's a lot of effort between the sourcing, there's bookkeeping, the, taking all the pictures and listing all the items, shipping all the items, organizing them all. It, there's, there's a lot involved. For me, it's fun. I find it, I just, I like it. I like that I'm making money. I'm saving history, keeping things out of the landfill. That's why I do this. And of course, the community. There is such a huge reselling community out there. And I just love you know, listening to everybody's YouTubes, watching them on Instagram, TikTok, all of that. And uh, so I hope you guys are enjoying my content. So, uh, so my only strategies around Etsy now is to keep building um, up stock in, you know, in my Etsy shop. And then I think I'm going to start running some bigger sales um, and, uh, you know, maybe do some weekend type of sales where I might do like 30% off or something like that. Um, uh, so I've been, you know, kind of thinking about doing that, you know, as I have more and more items in my shop, I want to have like more opportunity to run, say, bigger sales uh, and kind of move things along. And that's the only thing I'm going to be doing in the future. And as I do it, I will let you guys know, and then I'll let you know what the results are. So as always, I hope you guys enjoy watching these videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I love reading your comments, and I will see you guys later.